Hey guys, and welcome back to the WT Farm Girls channel. We are going to be going over the cabin today, touching base real quick on some of the cool things that have been happening this summer in the cabin. I know you guys have been wondering, and you're really going to see the magic happen on the inside. We're also going to go through and try to finish off as much as possible the inside of the attic area, which is a real big pain in the butt. Also, I've had a lot of you guys ask me, how do you get equipment financing for your equipment? A lot of places don't offer financing, but there's a company called Gold Clip. Link in the video description down below. Check them out. They actually offer equipment financing both for new and used equipment. So that means anything from your local tractor dealership or your neighbor down the road, chances are pretty good they can finance it. Even if you have poor credit, they can probably hook you up. Oh goodness, you just love rolling when it's windy, don't you? It just tickles your tummy. And you're back, and everything in, and everything in between. That's why you're so dirty. Yes, you just love rolling in the grass. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh, we better roll. All right guys, today is the day. Today is the day that we're gonna make magic happen in the cabin. And this is really the defining moment of the cabin project. Because pretty much when I was set forth to make this cabin and I came upon these maple boards, this is really where this whole project is just gonna shine. Uh, it's gonna take two coats, boiled linseed oil. I do have to go through my sandpaper and uh, sand all of the little edges around here. And uh, the neighbor girl is supposed to come over and help me. She's been bugging me for the last two weeks. When are we going to put oil on the boards? Because she really wants to do this. And it's a nice project for kids. I mean, it's oil. You put it on, you wipe it off. It's not like stain where like you might get a little bit too thick or too thin. All right, so we're just taking off all of the little marks from everything. Once you get that oil on there, this is going to be really hard to remove. It's already a little hard to remove in some spots. I need to use a grinder to clean off um, the edge of the epoxy up there. So I'm gonna give the EcoFlow Pro River Power Station a try again. I've been carrying this around all over the farm lately. I've actually been using it as uh, a general USB power source. So I was charging my GoPro with this the other day. Um, I was actually doing a time lapse while I was charging it and it succeeded in fully charging it and recording video all at the same time. So now I'm going to use this grinder. It should work. Well, I'd say that actually pulled off all of the epoxy, but of course now I'm going to have to resand it. <laughs> It says it has 50 hours of battery life running this. So, again, this thing has been super useful. So, ooh, that's cool. So, maybe it was white. Or well, it's gonna change colors and you're probably gonna need a lot of oil. Think of it like when your skin's dry and you're putting lotion on it. Mm, I'll try. So, put on as much as it needs. Don't feel like you have to spread it thin. Mm.
That's a good idea. There you go. It's okay, don't worry about it. Nice, guys. That looks great. Look at that. Look at the difference between this and the rest of it. I know. I actually want to do more. I want to climb up there. with one stone. I wanted to get that big sheet of plywood off the wall because I had to oil the boards back in there. So I got up to this door right here. I still have to do above the door. I have to do that whole top triangle. Um, yeah, the triangles were definitely a trick to try to get. Whew, it worked out good, but now I have to do it up there. And I have a window and a vent to try to cut around. And it's a tighter area, so not looking forward to that. <laughs> but let's look at the stain quick. But yeah, so this is the older stuff. This is the first coat. And uh, you can see how it's just been soaking in. Like some of these boards don't even look like they've gotten any oil on them. <laughs> like look at this guy. They all have the same amount of oil, but it's just the way that it's showing the green. Wow, like, okay, you stand right here. Let me show you the back wall. Boom. <laughs> That's just like, boom. It's, it's like, wow, right there. So now you're looking at the ceiling and you're looking at the walls and you're going, it might be a little bit too loud for the walls. The pine looks good on its own. Does it look good with the maple? I don't know. Did get a trim color that I liked. It's actually called Canadian maple. So it complements the tones in the maple really well. And I think it complements the ceiling really well. So what I was trying to do was find a trim color it would kind of bridge the gap between the ceiling and the walls and kind of make them meld better together so it's not quite so boom, boom. Okay, so we just had a tiny little baby deer run by in the front yard, and I don't know where it went. It's behind the red tree right here. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Oh my 
gosh. Look at it. Where's the mom? That's kind of weird. Where would the mom be? I mean, this is like the front of the yard. I've never even seen a baby deer ever on our property. I know they're out there, but... Um... Yeah, they are fast, aren't they? <laughs> so I'm going to go through and I'm going to finish the second oiling on the walls. Um, the first coat is pretty much soaked in all the way. And again, like I said, this will continue to lighten up and fade over time. So this is not what it's going to stay looking like. It's going to dilute down probably by about half. I'm going to get this all done in one fell swoop. Let's go. boards on an angle like this are scary as heck. I've had the saw kick back at least once. <laughs> so hopefully the angle is going to be able to correct, but I can get a generalized idea. Oh yeah. Yep. A little bit pretty decent. like a one inch to one and a half inch. I'm in this. Boom! Yay, got that all done. My other wall looked so great. I thought this one was gonna go the same way. And it didn't, and I'm not quite sure why. But we have trim, we'll make it work. Yeah, so I've got my work clothes on today. If you've ever wanted to work in pajamas, this is the closest you can get and to do it safely. The pants are kind of crazy because we had a nice breeze blowing and it was blocking the breeze, but it was letting air flow in, if that makes any sense. I, I don't even know how to explain it, it's crazy. But these things are like, they're gusseted right here. So they don't like ride up crazy. Like when you bend your knees, see there's a double gusset. Um, they're just, they're so lightweight and breathable, but yet they offer me enough protection so I'm not freezing if I were wearing shorts. Jeans are just not always the most comfortable thing to work in. And let's not forget all the pockets. Pockets for days. Like I can stuff these with pockets. Oh, look right here. I got my knife. You can stick a, you can stick a pencil in there. How much? I lost this earlier. I should have just stuck it. Oh, look at, look at that. How dumb am I? I didn't even realize that. But they're like literally built for everything you can think of. Oh my 
gosh. Okay, ladies, if, if you have a heebie-jeebie with like big spiders, you probably want to just close your eyes for just a minute. Oh my gosh. Ah. <coughs> Uh, it keeps getting bigger every time I come up here. I don't know if you could, it's probably not even showing up on the camera. There's like a giant spider web. Huge, huge, and it's a big spider. Those things actually get bigger than that too. They get huge. We have a lot of those out here in Michigan. I don't really want to share a tight area with uh, this uh, spider over there. I don't want to get too close to all of that yuck. If I were any larger, this would totally not work at all. So sometimes there's advantages to being female. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to cut it down more. Nope. Gotta cut it down more. It's hard to measure this. All right, so I have both of my studs, I don't know what you call these, little stud bricks prepped up. So I got the screws already set in here until it's almost just barely coming out of the top of the hole. So that way when I set it up there, the minute my drill starts turning, it's gonna go right into the ceiling stud or the floor stud. I know you're thinking I should just uh, screw this guy in and be done, but remember I had to swap these guys out because one of these was wired incorrectly. I'm not gonna stuff him in the wall until he's tested so that I know that he needs to be tested. If that makes any sense. Okay. Yum, 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 right here. Okay. You looking for trouble again? I see you. Okay. It's hot. I'm really happy with that though. Oh, working on staining some trim boards. It's been a long, wow, well, long weekend, long summer. I uh. I don't remember what I did this morning. Did a bunch of stuff and then got uh, 120 bales stacked in the hayloft. The hayloft is like over 100 degrees up there with no breeze. <sighs> the bales luckily weren't too bad. They weren't too heavy, but man, it was just, just killed me. Anyway, I also have, say hi, baby Gabe. I have my grandson in here. Babysitting him tonight, too. Can say hi. Yeah, we are going to have to fix his shirt because it says Grandpa's side cut and it has John Deere tractors. Oh, <laughs> I know it should say Grandma's side kick, shouldn't it? And yucky John Deere tractors. <laughs> All right, well, I'm back at it. Is that a tractor I spy over there? It's a tractor with a baler. 
You know what that means? More hay cutting, coming up, and raking, and baling. So, lots more hay coming up. We're gonna pepper in a little bit of cabin videos. So definitely, if you are not already subscribed, click that subscribe button, hit that bell, and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thanks so much, guys. I love it. I hope you guys are having a great late summer. Take care, bye. What a good girl, he's a good girl.